It's a nice May day and we're out in an Indiana cornfield looking at seedling blights. Now this is a very common appearance of a cornfield across most of Indiana right now, especially fields that were planted in early to mid-April. A lot of those fields are exhibiting seedlings that have had poor emergence, poor vigor, and very uneven stand. We typically think of seedling blights as problems when we have cool, wet conditions at planting. Most of the corn that was planted in early to mid-April was actually planted into very warm, dry soils. So we're very surprised to see a lot of seedling blight issues this year. However, if we think back to late April, most of that corn that was planted sat in the soil because it got very cold out. So soil temperatures dipped, which are good conditions for a lot of the organisms that cause disease. Now that it's gotten very dry, a lot of our, our corn plants are stressed. And so we're seeing more and more symptoms show up because roots may not have developed fully and are now in some areas drought stress. So when we're looking to try to decide if seedling blights are one of the causes for this, you know, we need to get and look and actually look at the samples. So we want to make sure that we're out here and we have our shovels and our buckets and our sampling gear to determine if it is an organism that's causing disease. And I have Gail Rule with me with the Purdue Plant and Pest Diagnostic Lab. And she's going to walk us through how to take a sample. So we like to dig several plants in the field uh, so that we have a, a good representative sample of what you're seeing out there. And one of the best ways uh, to keep the soil off of the, the leaves and, and maintain on the roots is to bring some tin foil with you and to take your sample and some of the soil and put it into uh, the tin foil and then crimp it around the base of the plant. And that we want to have several plant samples, you know, at least six, that's our minimum number. And we want to make sure that those are coming from different areas of the field because we could have a problem of, of one organism causing disease in one portion of the field, but it could be another issue in another area of the field. So the more representative samples we can get from across the field, the better diagnosis that we can perform in the lab. The reason that we want to get a good diagnosis for what problem is causing it in the field is that we have different management options that we can use. There are different organisms that cause seedling blights and seed treatments that are on corn have different efficacy against those organisms. So it's important to know which organism is causing the disease so you can select a seed treatment that would be most appropriate for the, the organism in your field.